overpopulation question. I just saw a news article saying that Japan's population fell by 800,000 people last year. And similar trends were seen in other Asian countries. And this made me think about Elon Musk's comments disregarding the supposed issue of overpopulation. Saying we must increase the population or we will face a rapid population collapse him say his reasoning behind having so many kids. Can someone the logic behind his comments? I.e. how the threat is possible and what he means. And does the above news about Japan's fallen population relate to or support Musk's proposed issue? The only kinder sense I can make about how it's possible is summathong to do with falling fertility rates. But how would a population just collapse fast enough for us not to stabilize it? Edit. Thanks for all the comments. I understand the gist of the problem now. Where it's more of an economic collapse and social problem due to a smaller younger population. Having to support an older one. To put it shortly. And nothing more than that which I thought he was suggesting by making a global warming comparison. Clearly he must not value the urgency of such. Musk should stick to his rockets and cars. To say such a preposterous thing with his influence. And ignore the implications and the needs in the world to support his theory. His words are powerful. I can't imagine how many people he must have influenced to rethink or deny overpopulation. I didn't believe his comments at all. But was just trying to make sense of them. It is encouraging to see how many people are so credulous to influential people's words. Even when people are trying to make the world a better place. That's always important. I think the important thing to note is that civilization has functioned just fine for millennia. Without this many people. Even in Japan. I don't expect population will freefall to zero. All this land in rural areas that's freeing up will eventually attract agricultural and industrial economic opportunities. Plus Tokyo's population is actually still increasing. So there will be people who move back to those ghost towns if the government makes it feasible. Essentially I think the increase in available resources will result in population stabilizing at some point. The guy has a breed kink. He is just flapping his gums because he wants to make all the babies. Population collapse economic collapse less money for Mr. Loney Mooks. Just because Elon Musk has a microphone doesn't mean he's smart. Come to India, you will get answer to your queue or better, Bangladesh and Pakistan. Yes we'll get fucked short term due to the economic implications of depopulation but I don't see how having a teeny tiny global human population is a bad thing. I'd give a kidney to be able to experience that world. Wealthy people want population growth so their assets increase in value. It's much easier for the middle and lower class to afford things like housing food and energy with a population collapse. So there's a balance. Most developed countries currently have a birth rate below replacement rate not enough births to keep up with deaths. This means the population will eventually shrink unless people immigrate from counties with a higher birth rate. Since this is a global trend, it is unlikely that the world population keeps growing forever. But most projections show that this won't stop until 2050 to 2100. Most of that growth is expected to be in Africa. Elon Musk is a doomer. He thinks that humanity is going to turn into a corn cob. It's just the other side of being an alarmist of either we collapse of under or overpopulation. Neither is going to happen. Both low and high fertility bring societal and economical problems with them. What matters is how to solve those issues as a society. 
saying we must increase the population or we will face a rapid population collapse. The horror one half. Ol Muskie is thinking with his wallet. Let our population fall. It will bring to light some uncomfortable economic truths. But humanity and the world will carry on. And probably be better for it. The fears surrounding population collapse is the result of us extrapolating a future where disrupting trends, aging population and lower birth rates are amplified, but where our systems and capabilities remain the same, which is almost always never the case. We always adapt. Musk and his ilk wants people to have more kids because the current system just works for them. It has nothing to do with a genuine concern about our overall well-being. Meanwhile check out the southern U.S. border. A seemingly unlimited supply of humans from around the globe. Korea's fertility rate is currently about 0.7. The replacement rate is about 2.1. Korea's population will decline by about 2-3 every generation. As a general rule, the higher the education level a woman has, the fewer kids she has. This presents a problem if there is a genetic component to intelligence as those women with the greatest intellects would contribute the least genetically. So even if Musk had a point, there is still an unaddressed reality. My guess is that the population would stabilize at a number far below that required to maintain several billionaires and that is what he is worried about. Marry and have children because a spouse and children will give you joy. Not because some podgy apartheid crypto-fascist wants you to disregard also podgy virgin radfems who destroy rainforests with their French fries addiction. But mule about how you're having no children will benefit the planet. Too many dumb people being born and not enough smart ones. Overpopulation has been completely disproven many times anyone continues to peddle that stuff is a closet fascist. Only reason Elon Musk cares about falling fertility rates. Because it means there won't be enough poor children for the sweatshops that they operate. The main beneficiary is the planet. That's 800,000 less units of CO2 being pumped in the air. When I was a kid, there were 4 billion people on Earth. Now there's 8 billion. The population growth is the main driver of global warming. And we need to return to more sustainable levels despite the loss of revenue for Elon. Elon like all other rich people has a vested interest in keeping the population large to keep. The labor force large to continue exploiting said workforce for his own gain. The last time laborers had power was after the Black Death cut said labor force almost in half. Scarcity is the friend of the seller. And this also includes labor. The wrong countries are growing Nigeria, India, etc. and the rest of the developed world is collapsing. A huge birth rate doesn't help the collective world if it's in a place that cannot get them educated. Fed and raised to adulthood and given a chance to move to a place that needs workers. I get this is a dystopian view. But it's reality. We do not have an overpopulation problem. We have an overpopulation problem in a few set areas. Otherwise, by and large we are shrinking. I propose he wants to grow population because then there will be more people to exploit. His whole pyramid scheme of hoarding more and more wealth requires more people to allow more wealth growth. It's important to realize that Elon isn't the genius we were fooled into believing he was. I wouldn't give credence to anything Musk says. The man's a fool. Musk is an idiot. He renamed Twitter. X don't listen to idiots.